Good morning. What is up? My name is Derek Sanderson and I'm a realtor with EXP Realty serving the greater Chico, California area. And it's my passion to help educate, equip and empower you to make the best decisions possible. So with that in mind, every Monday, I take a few minutes and look at what's happening with single family residential homes here in the Chico area. So without further ado, let's go. let's jump in for today monday october 14th so as of about 9 30 this morning we have 126 active single family homes on the market and 104 under contract now the median list price for this 126 is just under five hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars which is a great move down we were actually in the low sixes for a few weeks so it's encouraging to see this median list price coming down that means there is a more affordable housing, more affordable homes than there are expensive homes and averages on market 82 days. Now, let's take a step back and look at what's gone on in the last seven days here in Chico. We had 17 homes hit the market, but we had 22 go under contract. So that is a negative five delta or loss in the number of homes for potential home buyers to purchase. We also had 19 price reductions, which is the most we've had in probably a month and a half. And we had 12 homes sell. Okay, stepping back even further and looking at the last 30 days. So in the last 30 days, we had 62 homes sell. That is down just over four and a half percent from the same 30 day time period last year. And the average is on market 45 days. That is still up compared to last year as well. Now check out the median list and median sales price. Median list price is 10% higher than it was last year. And the median sales price is also just over 10% higher than what it was last year. Coming in at $484,000. Well, just under $485,000. So we're continuing to see this trend of the median list price and the median sales price continue to creep up. In January, February of this year, I made three predictions. And one of those was that we were going to see a median list price rise by seven to 10 percent, which is much higher than what it typically is. Typically, we see about a five to seven percent increase. And so we're continuing this trend uh upward it'll be interesting to see what happens in the last three months of this year okay here's a little snapshot we're about halfway through october and there you can see we've only had 30 homes come on the market in the first half of october that is significantly lower than where we were at last year in 2023 for the whole month of october we had 94 homes come on the market I do not see any feasible way for us to even get close to that 94 homes for this October, but we will watch and wait. Okay, and as far as sales, we've only had 21 homes sell so far in the first half of October. We are well behind where we were last year. So again, it's a wait and see to see what happens with home sales. There you can see we had 76 homes sell in October of last year okay and mortgage interest rates total disclaimer i am not a mortgage professional all this data is pulled from mortgagenewsdaily.com and this is the national average for friday because the new numbers have not come out yet so we're sitting at 6.64 for that national average for a 30-year fixed mortgage now here's what's happened in the last six business days there you can see for the most part interest rates have crept up over the last six business days but if we're comparing to last year, we are still about a full percentage point under where we were last year. And every Monday I post a motivational quote, and this is this week's by Andrew Carnegie. The morality of compromise sounds contradictory. Compromise is usually a sign of weakness or an admission of defeat. Strong men don't compromise, it is said, and principles should never be compromised.
This is a bit of an intense quote, especially for a motivational quote on a Monday, but I just want to hone in on this last little part that Andrew says. Principles should never be compromised. Principles are those guardrails in our life, or better yet, they're the foundation or they're the glasses in which we look at life and make our decisions. The truth is, if we allow our principles to constantly be swayed, depending on what's going on around us or the person in front of us or whoever our audience is, this is what will happen. People will begin to not trust what we have to say or if we're going to follow through on our word because we are constantly changing our principles based on who's in front of us or the world around us. So I want to encourage you as you go throughout this week, begin to look at what are your core principles? What is that foundation you've built and do you stick to it? Can people trust what you say? Can they trust that you're going to follow through because of the principles in which you say you have? That's all I have for you for this week's market update. I hope you have a fantastic week. And if you can do me one quick thing, if you wouldn't mind liking, subscribing, and commenting on this video, I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you all very, very soon.